Yeah, maybe it's a good time for me to just mention that we've thrown out a lot of terms like dockets and crossover and you know committee schedules and session dates and all of that stuff. Um, the Virginia General Assembly has a really good website and you can just Google Virginia General Assembly and all these terms can be found there and then you can go from there to either the House or the Senate. You can find all sorts of resources. It's, they're both really well done. Um, find calendars, find schedules, learn about the committees and um, all the things that they tackle. So I think that would be a good complement to this webinar is to um, familiarize yourself with terms and schedules and calendars. And Virginia has a very fast, and I think that's pretty clear from this discussion, a very fast session. They handle a lot of legislation, you know, always over 2,000 bills and sometimes pushing 3,000. I think we pushed 3,000 this year um, in either 45 or 60 days. And the entire state budget is just one bill. So in the years that we're doing the budget, that's when we're in 60 days. So understanding those kinds of terms and the pressures that are on the members um, is really important for folks that want to engage in the process. And something, Janet, that you and I discussed the other day was um, the opportunities there are to meet with members when they're not in session. So as we Kind of come to the end of our webinar i just thought that that might be an opportunity worth maybe going into a little bit more and let people know they don't necessarily have to limit their interaction with you to just during the, the crush of session i would say the, the the biggest takeaway that i could give anybody is that this is based on relationships based on credibility and timeliness and I think establishing a relationship with an office and recognizing that, um, you know, each, Jonathan and I both, um, you know, our members choose us. We work directly for them. Um, they trust us and we have a sense of what they need um, for, them to be successful as chairman as you know legislators so i would think that you're right um one of the things that um i think that we i would like to say is um for people coming into the process they they, they what you just mentioned having a resource to study up what some of that is what is the legislative process civics 101 almost but just they have the opportunity of how to be impactful um i don't know if this is an appropriate time i think there are probably some things that should be avoided when you're trying to communicate with a legislator is is this where we talk about that okay. go for it and uh, Jonathan, stop me if I'm, you know, if I'm going in the wrong direction here. Um, I think that, you know, following a member down the hall, you know, kind of like when they're trying to get into their next, you know, mental frame when they're going to a committee, that is probably not the best time or the best way to, um, you know, influence that individual. I have seen literally um, people follow members into uh, restrooms. I have seen them follow them down a stairwell when, you know, the member could not get on an elevator because the building was so crowded. So going down the stairwell to get and then to, to be timely for their meetings. So there are certain things and certain, you know, boundaries that make you more effective respecting you know their time as well as trusting that the people that you are meeting with in their office have been empowered to carry your message <laughs>